So over the last week, I dropped a couple reels and shorts on TikTok and YouTube sharing the facts about protein and I'm blown away how misguided and brainwashed people are about eating protein. Now, if I took you and I took your twin and every single day when you woke up, you and your twin both ate the same amount of calories. You had the same activity level, but your twin ate more protein than you did. When all things are created equal, because your twin ate more protein, your twin would burn more fat, your twin would have a faster metabolism, your twin would lose less less muscle and potentially gain more muscle and your twin would have less hunger and cravings and there literally are dozens of studies that bear this out. Hey everybody, Coach Sean the Rip Grandpa and you know one of the biggest misconceptions about weight loss in overall health in general is that a high protein diet is super acidic, that it'll clog your arteries, that it'll make you die an early death. And if you actually look at all the research, the clinical peer-reviewed published research and meta-analysis where they take dozens of studies, they compile them into one, you're going to be blown away at the research I'm going to share inside this video. Now, I also did a personal experiment on my own body where I increased my protein intake intentionally from January of November of 2021 and I got before and after blood work done and I'm going to share here right on the screen right now, you can see what happened. My good cholesterol went up my bad cholesterol went down, and my triglycerides were incredible. The nurse practitioner who looked at my blood work was blown away when I told her how much protein I was eating. She said she's never seen anything like it, and it turns everything on its head about what you've been brainwashed to believe by the medical community about high protein intake. So let's dive in, let's talk about how much your body needs, why it's the key to burning more belly fat, keeping your metabolism elevated, getting rid of hunger and cravings, and gaining more lean muscle. So first, let's confirm the science with a couple studies. The Journal of Nutrition researchers were at the University of Illinois when they discovered that those dieters who consume twice as much protein as the other group experienced a 66% better ratio of fat to lean muscle mass, and they actually lost more fat from the stomach region. And this is despite consuming the same amount of calories. Now, in another research study, they found that just simply substituting fat and carbohydrates for protein calories actually doubled the amount of weight loss these participants lost. So the reason this happens is because when you eat protein, it's the only macronutrient that actually boosts your metabolic rate through a process called DIT. This is often referred to as TEF. So DIT stands for diet induced thermogenesis and TEF stands for the thermic effect of food. Now simply put, when you eat protein, for every 100 calories that you eat, it requires your body to burn 35 calories just to ingest, digest, and metabolize that protein. Where fats and carbohydrates only have a 3 to 10% DIT. So literally your body burns almost 30% more calories just through the act of digesting protein than it does when you eat fat carbohydrates. This is why people who substitute protein in place of fat carbohydrates lose more weight. Also, research proves that protein is the only macronutrient that is directly linked to increasing muscle protein synthesis, aka muscle growth. So there's no other macro that's ever been linked to your body's ability to grow lean muscle tissue. On top of that, protein is the most satiating nutrient. It's gonna stave off hunger and cravings while you diet. This is why the people who eat more protein when they diet have an easier time adhering to it and get better results. I mean, what is gonna fill you up faster? A basket of bread or a big old plate of beef? Exactly. So the next rebuttal I get after sharing all this stuff with a dieter who wants to defend their biases that they've been brainwashed to believe by their doctor about how evil protein is. What about your kidneys? Or what about your triglycerides and your cholesterol? I mean, all this fat loss and muscle gaining stuff is all fine and dandy, but if I'm gonna die an early death, who cares? Well, let's talk about the research. So in the first meta-analysis, what they did is they collected data from 20 different studies following over 1 million people and found zero link between their consumption of red meat and heart disease. Then in Europe, they turned around and followed over 400,000 people for a couple years straight and they found zero link between their consumption of red meat and heart disease. And you wanna know why? Because the meat was unprocessed. So when your doctor tells you red meat's gonna make you die in early death or clog your arteries, it's not unprocessed red meat. It's the processed red meat and all the chemicals and the crap that go into processing that meat. So you should not be afraid of eating meat. Chop the head off that grass-fed cow and eat it. So the last thing I want to talk about is kidney health because this one gets people all riled up. I mean, this is the biggest myth out there. Well, let's talk about the research. So they followed a group of guys who trained with weights. So disclaimer there. They were men and they trained with weights, but they consumed 1.4 grams of protein per pound 
of their body weight for a year straight and had zero adverse effects on their kidneys or any other aspect of their health. Now here's the kicker, they upped this to two grams per pound of body weight per day and still saw zero adverse effects on their health. Now. If you're not active, if you don't train with weights, if you don't do cardio, no, you don't need as much. And I believe as a active person who trains with weights intensely and does intense cardio every single week, I have at least one gram per pound of my ideal body weight on a daily basis. So me, I weigh 185 to 190 pounds. I still shoot for 200 grams per day. But as long as I'm hitting 185 to 190 grams or more, sometimes I'll go as high as 225, 250, but I always hit at least one gram of my ideal body weight on a daily basis. Now I am active. If you're not active, you can can lower that to about 0.6 grams per pound of body weight. Now, if you look at all the studies across the board, there's a lot of recommendations on the amount of protein. I believe after working with hundreds of clients and over the last couple decades doing this stuff on myself, that these are the sweet spots of how much protein you should take in on a daily basis if you have the desire to get all the proven benefits of faster metabolism through DIT, less hunger and cravings through satiety, less muscle loss and improved muscle gains in a faster metabolism. Remember, protein is the only macro that prevents all these side effects of dieting, a slower metabolism, muscle loss, hunger and cravings. This is why when all things are created equal, the person who consumes the most protein will win the weight loss game every single time. So hopefully you know by now that getting adequate protein intake is only one piece of the weight loss puzzle. So before I close out this video, I wanna share a simple three-step solution that I've developed over the years that will help you achieve something called hormonal Entrainment. Now, I developed this after my wife Karen was diagnosed with cancer and the treatments forced her into early menopause. And for eight weeks in a row, I had her be in a deficit. I had her get adequate protein intake. I made sure that she exercised, did weight training, some cardio, and some HIT. And sure enough, after eight weeks of not touching one drop of alcohol or any cheap food, she lost like 1.5 pounds. And that was it. And so we discovered that it's not just about calories in, calories out, or adequate protein intake. It's about hormonal entrainment. And so the first step to achieve hormonal entrainment is strategic meal timing, because when you're over 40, when you eat can almost be just as important as what you eat. Step number two is strategic food combinations or just pairing your foods the right way. So every time you eat, if you pair your foods the right way, this will determine whether your body stays in a fat burning environment or not. And we're gonna teach you how to pair your foods the right way to do that. And the third step is the most important because it's gonna give you adherence and help you be able to turn this into a lifestyle and that's strategic high carb cheat meals. And when you use high carb cheat meals, the right way, like I'll teach you in our coaching program, you reset leptin and thyroid hormones. Not only does this prevent weight loss plateaus, it increases metabolic rate and stops metabolic slowdown that happens when we diet. Now this is all part of our Body Transformation Blueprint Elite coaching program. And for those who are truly serious about making a lasting change to their body and their life, click the link below, fill out the application and schedule your free coaching call. But you need to be committed for 90 days and this is not about a quick fix. This is about losing the weight and keeping it off. And we guarantee you'll lose 20, 30, 40 pounds or more faster than you ever have or we'll work with you for free until you lose the weight. So thanks for watching this and keep going strong.